Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline. This is a video tutorial series through which we will sharpen our problem solving skill. First, we will analyze the problem on hand to find the related concepts. Then using these, we will develop a method which will produce the solution. This will help the students aspiring to get into IIT to understand the much needed advanced theories and applications in physics. In this video tutorial, we will discuss a problem on the oscillations of a spring pulley block system. The question is as follows. A massless pulley, a massless spring of force constant K and a block of mass M are connected in three different ways as shown in the figure. In each case, the block is pulled down by a small distance and released. Find the time period of the resulting oscillations in each case. Before proceeding to solve the problem, let us recall the related concepts. A spring block system oscillates in SHM when the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement of the block. This restoring force is provided by the spring connected to the block. In simple systems, the block is directly connected to the spring such that the displacement of the block is equal to elongation in the spring. In such cases, restoring force is equal to minus Kx. In complicated systems, the block is not directly connected to the spring. Therefore, displacement of the block is not equal to elongation of the spring. In such cases, we need to establish a relation between the two to find the restoring force and the time period of oscillations. To solve the problem, we will use a shortcut method which may be understood as follows. In horizontal spring block systems, the spring is relaxed in equilibrium. When the block is pulled by distance x, the spring elongation is also x. Therefore, restoring force is equal to minus kx. In a vertical spring block system, the spring is not relaxed in equilibrium. If the initial elongation is equal to x0, then the tension in the spring is T0 is equal to Kx0, which is also equal to Mg. When the block is pulled further by x, the tension in the spring becomes T0 plus T is equal to K into x0 plus x. Therefore, when released, the restoring force F is equal to Kx. Hence, we can ignore the initial elongation and tension from further calculation without any loss of accuracy. In case 1, when the block is pulled down by x, the spring elongation is also equal to x. Therefore, the tension in the spring is equal to spring force which is equal to kx. Therefore, restoring force is equal to minus kx. Since it acts in the opposite direction to displacement. Therefore, acceleration a is equal to minus k by m into x, which implies t is equal to 2 pi root over m by k. In case 2, when the block is pulled down by x, spring elongation is equal to x by 2. Therefore, spring force is equal to kx by 2. From the figure, it is clear that spring force is equal to 2t and restoring force is equal to t. Therefore, restoring force is equal to minus kx by 4 and acceleration is equal to minus k by 4m into x, which implies t is equal to 4 pi root over m by k. In case 3, when the block is pulled down by x, spring elongation is equal to 2x, therefore spring force is equal to 2kx. From the figure, it is clear that spring force is equal to t and restoring force is equal to 2t. Therefore, restoring force is equal to minus 4kx and acceleration is equal to minus 4k by m into x, which implies t is equal to pi root over m by k. This completes the answer to the question.